I am going to show you how to make all of the flowers on this cake. All right, guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to do a rose first. You're gonna to wanna to start with a mound. I use, first of all, this is a 104, 2.04. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a teardrop shape. So you're gonna to wanna to keep the fat side down and the thin side up. Create a mound. You can use a round tip for this. I just happen to use this because I'm used to it. And from there, you're gonna to wanna to touch the base of your tip to the frosting, and you're gonna gently squeeze and you're gonna spin your flower nail as you go until you get a little circle like that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create half moons all the way around the, the little uh, centerpiece you just made. So you're gonna to touch the base to the flower you're gonna gently squeeze and spin as you're squeezing. And that's what it should look like. And you're just gonna keep doing that repeatedly. You don't wanna pull out, so make sure you're at a good angle. If you want your flower to open more, you can tilt it out a little bit more and it'll open up the petals. Like that. If you want it closed, you can go up at an angle more. I'll show you that in just a second. So starting over, we're gonna create our little circle. And then if you want the flower more closed, you'll just kind of keep, keep your thing tilted up a little bit. And then your flower will be more closed. And you're just gonna go up and around. And that's it. Up next is chrysanthemums. You're going to do the same thing. This is a tip 81. It's sort of a half moon shape. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a little smiley face. You can get a larger size. Mine is a little bit small. You're going to want to do the same thing. Create a circle. Just a small mound. And what you're going to do is you're going to touch the bottom to the base of your your little mound here, and you're gonna squeeze, and you're gonna pull, and then you're gonna release. And that's gonna be your petal, and you're gonna do that all the way around. It doesn't matter if they're even, they don't have to be beautiful. It's a flower. Okay, so you've got your base here. Then, I like going in between the two petals and starting a second layer, and you're gonna want to pull up a little bit when you do it so that it starts getting that curved shape. You're gonna go all the way around. And you're gonna keep doing that until you have your full flower. Pull this away a little bit. Oop, that one was a little ugly. And don't worry if you mess up, you can just rebuild your, your petal. And it's gonna have so many petals on it that nobody's gonna notice if you mess one up anyhow. like that. And you can see the base is completely covered. And now with these, I never actually do them on the flower nail. You want, if you're making a chrysanthemum, do it directly on the cake. This is just good for practice, but you won't be able to lift it up when you want to. It's going to scrape all of those beautiful petals that you made off. So if you're doing chrysanthemums, if you want to, you can freeze them, do them on wax paper, freeze them, then you may be, might be able to lift them. But I would recommend doing them directly on the cake first. Um, and those are usually the first flowers I make if I am making a flower cake because the petals do, you know, you do have to be able to pull out. Um, if your petals are messing up, you are probably not releasing your grip. So, start over so I can show you. If this is what your petals are looking like, <laughs> can't even do it. If your petals are looking like that, it's because you're not releasing. You need to stop, let go, and it'll come out just like that. So squeeze, let go, and there it is. 
Same thing with the rose. If your petals aren't turning out right, you're probably not releasing your grip and you just want a nice even pressure the entire time. Okay, so now we're gonna do some just real simple flowers. This is a tip 102. It's also a rose tip. You can you can use a 104, a 103, whatever. This is just a small one because I was doing smaller flowers. So with this one, you're gonna wanna keep the fat end towards the center. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a rainbow shape as you're pulling. So keep it in the center, you're gonna squeeze, and there's a rainbow shape. That's what your petal is gonna look like. So then you'll have a flower like that. Same thing with this, do it directly on the cake. Okay, so now these are some really fun little rosettes. Well, rose buds, anyhow. So you're gonna wanna kind of do the same thing on the as the last flower you'll do just a little half moon shape but when you get to the end you're gonna stop and you're just gonna squeeze I will show you right here so half moon stop and squeeze and it'll roll over and then you're gonna have this little rosebud and then I like to do these um, as kind of a little bit of a trim so I'll do a vine and I'll add some little rosebuds here and there and just make it look real pretty and then you can add your leaves around it. All right, if you guys found this video useful and you wanna see more, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see something else, just drop a comment below and I will see what I can do. See you next time.